And these kind of shots are tough to get on camera here, guys. You're going to have to bear with me. One of the things that I've always said is we never want to start moving a harness until we do all of our visual contact points. And by contact points, I'm saying, you know, you're looking at the harness and, you know, there's some contact on the fuel rail here. And we look over further and we see some contact on the fuel rail here. And then we start looking down this way and we see this main harness has a real good contact on this. Maybe look from this angle might show us a little bit better. Got a little bit of shadow here. Looking right here where this metal bracket right here is actually cutting into the harness right here. And this is the kind of contact that I'm talking about. That is where our problem is. So what I'm doing when I show that reference circuit is I'm taking, when I show the reference circuit coming in and out, I'm taking this harness and I'm pulling it away right here, pushing and pulling away right here. And that is exactly where this line is increasing and decreasing. So I'm going to do this again while I show you the scope. And then what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll open this harness up and I'll show you where this wire is definitely cut into this bracket. By the way, this engine has bad engine mounts. So there's a lot of movement and torque with this thing and I believe that's part of the cause. Okay, back on the scope. And what we wanna do is I'll push the harness in toward that bracket. It's staying at five right now, right on the corner where it's where it's kind of wedged in there. If you can push on it where it, there you go, and pull away and push on it and pull away. That is exactly where our short is. As you can see, I'm going to open that harness up now. Okay, this is a shot of our harness. I had to pull the conduit off. It was torn on the bottom and it was difficult to do to get this wire up out of there because it was actually on the bottom. And it is this brown white wire, which is indeed our V-Ref 2 circuit. And uh, I have to remember this shows up a lot better on the regular screen than my two inch camera screen. You can see where the wire was cut, where it was laying across that bracket. And that's it, that was, <laughs> that's what was causing our short to ground on this reference circuit.